All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about worst 19. I don't have the answers worked out, so I can, I can do them. Um, so, I get to the right page. We'll be looking good. What is it? I just cracked one of the windows open. It'll go. All right. Eat it. Eat it. Protein. All right. So... Problems one, two, three, four. Anybody need me to go over problems one, two, three, or four? Well, I record my lessons for a reason. All right, so problem number one. Looks like if you combine like terms, you're going to get uh, 5x squared uh, minus x plus 3. So that's problem number one's answer. Problem number two's answer. And stop me if I need to go back and do any of them. 5x squared plus 5x minus 2. Problem number three's answer is 2x squared plus 4x minus 4. Uh, what? Like it's a different order? Yeah. I mean, you want to put it in standard form for the most part, but it's not wrong if it's not. It's just um, look at a little better. Uh, let's see. This one will be 6x to the third plus 3x squared plus x minus 4. So there's your first four problems. Are there any of those that you need to need to work out a little bit more? Five? Oh. oh, classified. Okay. So find the sum or difference and then classify the result by degree. Okay, so this is a second degree trinomial. Second degree trinomial. Second degree trinomial. Third degree. What do you think? Polynomial. Also, this being a second degree, this could be a quadratic. Uh, second degree quadratic, second degree quadratic, third degree, what do we call third degree? Oh, oh. Twofold what? What do we call it? It is trinomial. Quartic? I clear those. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, and eight. Um, I'm going to write them without the parentheses. I will have distributed the negative. So problem number five, drop the first set of parentheses, and then distribute the negative. So that changes all the signs. Uh, so you get 6y to the third, and then you combine those, that gives me plus y squared, and that and that gives me plus 7y, and that and that gives me negative 20. Third degree, four terms, quartic. Or we call it a polynomial. Number six. Again, I'll write the first one, I'll drop the parentheses, no problem. And then I'll distribute the parentheses here. Get that. Uh, putting it in order, it looks like negative 2x to the third is first. Right, that combine with, combine this and this. That's going to give me negative x squared. God bless you. Uh, these are cancel out because they're just opposite terms, and these cancel out because they're opposite terms. Third degree, what? It's binomial. Let's erase the third power. Can I clear those? All right. Clearing. Uh, number seven. I can drop the first set of parentheses, nothing to distribute over other than one. So I 
outside of parentheses. I'm going to change both sets of signs. Now I'm going to combine like terms. Uh, y to the fifth is first, minus y to the fourth. And these are both like terms. They're like terms, same letter and same exponent. It's 2y. So you could say it's a trinomial. Raised to the fifth power. Wait, what? So when you subtract y to the uh uh, there's two different same. dimensions. One's fifth degree oh, and one's fourth. You can't then, manage subtract. But then why do you subtract y and the fourth? This and this are the exact same, so you just combine them together. They're both third power. Cool. Eight. Drop the parentheses on the first one, no problem. Uh, distribute on the second one. So those are the same. What happens to those? Cancel. Cancel. Those are negative 4x. So I guess you could say because it's raised to the first power, you could classify it as linear. Okay. Number 9 and number 10, they want you to find the perimeter. Okay. Number 9 and number 10, they want you to find the perimeter. So on number 9, number 9, it's a rectangle. So you have this. You have this. You have two sides that are the same. And then the other are this and this. So then you can just add them all up. It's 14, 10. It's positive still. 2x, 4x, 5x, 6x. There's my perimeter. Perimeter of number 10. Triangle. Just add up all the sides. I have to combine like terms. Uh, so this and this will combine give me 5x squared. Like terms, same letter, same exponent. Combine plus 2x negative 10 and 6 is and the perimeter of that triangle is this. Cool? <coughs> Okay, so number 11, I'm going to draw out for us. So tell us on number 11 that the perimeter is this. And then we have they want to find that third side. So how would you have gotten the perimeter of this triangle? How am I getting the perimeter? Yes. So you would have to do just the way you should of the triangle. Okay. So you take those plus the minus and the minus is one over. Okay. I like it. So um, I realize that if I have this plus this plus this, it'll equal this. So I'm trying to figure out that question mark, right? So Technically, I could go 2y plus 4y, that's 6y, and then go, well, I already know the perimeter is this, so I'm just going to subtract that, and that's going to give me y, so that's the first part. And then 4 and negative 6 is negative 2, so I'm going to go negative 12 minus negative 2, that's the same thing as plus, so that should be that side is y minus 10. You can double check if you're correct by doing this. 2y plus y is 3y plus 4y is 7y. That works. Um, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12. Totally works. So you're just kind of undoing what you've worked on. And then they tell you, number 12, so given a rectangle with perimeter is 14x minus 12, if the short side measures, if the short side measures 3x minus 8, what is the uh, length of the other side? Okay. Clear and ink. So number 12, they said that the trimmer is this. If 
this is 3x minus 8. What else is 3x minus 8? The other side. Okay? These are going to be the exact same as well. So if I were to, let's say, combine these two together, if I combine them together, I get 6x minus 16. Do you agree with that? If I take that away from what our perimeter is, then that's going to give me 8x minus 28. So is that the long side, or is that both the long sides put together? It's both long sides put together. So how long would this one side be? 4x minus 14, good. And then this would have to be 4x minus 14 as well. And again, you can double check it to see if that gives you the perimeter. 4x plus 4x is 8x plus 6x is 14x. That works. Negative 14, negative 14 is negative 28. Let's see. Oh, you know what I did wrong? That should be not minus minus, which means plus. So that should have been. So that should have been plus four, or minus plus four, plus two, plus two, sorry. There we go. Cool. And then I'm not a real big fan of this last page, so a lot of you didn't do it, which I get. It just says for each polynomial, say whether it is a collection of terms, a collection of factors, or a combination of both. Um, like number 13, if we truly were to work out number 13, you're basically foiling twice. So then you could put could be like a combination of both. I'm collecting terms and factors. And then number 14, I could FOIL the x plus 4. Then I could distribute the 3. And that, that's got to be about the same thing. And then, and then 15, it's just kind of a collection of terms. I don't know. I'm not, if you didn't get 13, 14, or 15, I, I think you're probably safe. I think you're OK. But uh, this is what I want us to work on today. Uh, you'll notice over on these three windows is a worksheet on each. Two worksheets on each. Two worksheets per bag. They're the exact same. Okay? And I do have to modify. There's a couple of, let's see. <coughs> on 21 through 28 on this worksheet, which is a review for tomorrow's quiz, I don't have the whole thing done. So what I'll do is I will make sure I go over 21 through 28 with you eventually. Now, best way to review isn't take this, stand over at the window, and plagiarize. Okay? Best way to do it is work out a couple problems, go over and take a look at it, have a question, ask. Go sit back down. Go do some more problems, go back up, take a look at it. Okay, if you figure out, I have some notes on those that should help you out. But this is a good review <coughs> for tomorrow's quiz. And then Friday we do not have class, right? Yeah. No. No. No class. No. <coughs> we, I think you all should go to CC's no. Pizza. You guys ever eat at CC's? Yes. Dude, they got mac and cheese pizza. How good is that? I mean, guys, mac and cheese pizza is like the greatest. All right, so I want to hand this out to y'all. Have you work on it?